The lockout isn't just affecting the NBA, it's also hitting businesses that depend on the basketball games. 11 Sports reporter Rebecca Wallen headed to Salt Lake to find out how their economy is handling the blow. The lockout is keeping the Jazz off the court and it's also locking out their fans. That makes a ripple effect that businesses that hurts businesses near the arena. And anytime that you're expecting 18,000 people someplace and they don't show up, it's a pretty big impact. The NBA has already canceled the Jazz's four preseason games and is threatening to throw in the towel for the regular season as well, creating even greater concerns for business owners who earn money off the games. If it, if it locks down, it means that two or three nights a week we won't get the projected revenue that we anticipated. As our restaurant community, our transportation resources, all of those types of entities are really impacted by the potential loss of an NBA season. Store owners and city officials are looking for potential alternatives to stay in business in case of a lockout. In other events, they had the do tour over there a couple of weeks ago. Shania Twain was over there. So we've begun discussions um, as, as early as two weeks ago um, in terms of how we can develop and sustain a program that can market the restaurant community to the locals in case, in case there's no NBA season. And 27 teams come through Salt Lake City each season, bringing their entourage with them. Owners worry about losing not only jazz fans, but the opposing team's fan base as well. If we only got just a fraction of 1% of that business, would do really, really well. Local businesses are hoping for a compromise from the players and owners today so the fans will come back and they can return to business as usual.